Summer's heating up, so let's talk about all the freebies and deals you can enjoy this summer. First, if you have kids or grandkids in your house, you need to know about Kids Bowl Free. Every kid gets two free games every day during the summer through this program. We used this religiously every year when my children were young because they loved going to the bowling alley to escape the heat. We made a lot of great memories with this program, so I always highly recommend it. Second, there's another program just like it called Kids Skate Free. This program provides free skating at local roller rinks. The premise is the same. Kids can skate every day for free through this program. Third, Museums for All. Now this program is not limited to children. It's available to seniors too. In fact, it's open to anyone who has an EBT or a WIC card. All you have to do is show your card at the admissions desk to get free or severely reduced admission to your local museums, zoos, and aquariums. We have found more than a thousand participating destinations nationwide, so there's no reason anyone should be bored this summer. There are lots of free and cheap adventures everywhere if you know where to look, and the best place to look is lowincomerelief.com since we aggregate all of the discounts from all of the programs, Museums for All, and others that offer this service. I know when I put out videos like this, I get a lot of feedback from people who can't afford the transportation. They can't afford the gas or the bus passes or whatever they need to actually get to these destinations. If that applies to you, please don't forget to check out lowincomerelief.com. We have a list of agencies that can help you with gas vouchers or bus passes, ways that you can get discounted transportation so that you can still take advantage of these deals. Fourth, Blue Star Museums. Active duty military personnel, including the National Guard and Reserves, can visit Blue Star Museums for free every year. This program runs between Armed Forces Day in May and Labor Day in September every single year. There are over 2,000 museums that participate nationwide. Fifth, you don't have to travel farther than your local library to find an incredible adventure. Many libraries nationwide have free maker spaces where you can learn new skills like 3D printing or sewing. Many libraries also have a library of things where you can check out telescopes, kick pans, craft kits, and all sorts of things. Some of the libraries I've researched have Wi-Fi hotspots you can bring home, drum sets you can check out, sewing machines, GoPro kits, all sorts of crazy stuff. And in many libraries, you can even check out museum passes to get free and discounted admission to even more destinations in your area. And don't forget about those free streaming services, free audiobooks and other at-home services that you can get from your local library as well. There are plenty of freebies and deals available to you, even if you don't want to leave home. Sixth, low-income seniors, veterans, foster parents, fourth graders, and others may be eligible for a free state parks pass or free national parks pass. There are tons of different programs out there that can help you get discounted admission to these great destinations. Seventh, geocaching is a fun free adventure that's close to home. This is something we've started doing more and more with our family. Basically, geocaches are hidden treasures that people have left in all sorts of different places. Sometimes they're by local businesses or or they're in parks or sometimes they're out on trails. They're seriously everywhere. But if you download a geocaching app, you'll see a map of all the places they're hidden near you. You'll get clues to help you find them. And it's like a real life treasure hunt. I recommend bringing a little trinket, even if it's something small. We like to go to the dollar store and just get random things there. But oftentimes the geocache will have a little box of things and you can take something if you leave something and it's just a lot of fun. Eighth, free movies and concerts. Throughout the summer, there are free concerts and free movies at parks and community centers all across the country. These are really fun events, but if you prefer to watch a movie indoors, many theaters and cinemas run discounted movies during the morning hours. These movies that they show typically are older, and but they only cost a dollar or two usually. And it's a great way to spend some time in a comfortable air-conditioned space and escape that heat. Ninth, free school supply events. If you have a child who will be attending school in September, you may be able to get free school supplies for the upcoming year. We have found tons of free school supplies events around the country, and they typically happen in June or July, so you want to make sure you look for those as soon as possible. These events often distribute backpacks full of supplies, but they also frequently offer other supportive services, like free clothes, free haircuts, and more. It's a great way to get ready for the new school year and save money while you're doing it. And finally, farmer's markets are in full swing throughout the summer season. We recently did a video on all the ways that seniors, children, veterans, and honestly, anyone shopping with food benefits can get free food from their local farmer's market. So be sure to click over and check out that video. I'll see you there.